Fear is basically anything that scares you. And yes, if it scares you, believe you me, you need to fight it. You need to fight that which scares you at all cost. And it's very easy. It's only that sometimes we see as if it's very hard to fight our fears, but it's very easy. Hi people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever time you are watching this video. Welcome and welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Congo Jenga YouTube channel where we entertain, we educate and also we inform. So today we have a, a, another video um, that we want to do. It's actually a talk that we want us to maybe have and uh, just to share some few things that maybe can help you, can help me in this life and also especially in these times that we we are faced by negativities from all corners. So today I want us to talk about something uh, on how to overcome fear. Or rather, the ways to overcome fear. These are just some few ways that I have identified and I hope and I really pray that that will be of help to you and also to me and also to anyone that may be going through fears in life. So what is fear? Fear is basically anything that scares you. And yes, if it scares you, believe you me, you need to fight it. You need to fight that which scares you at all cost. And it's very easy only that sometimes we see as if it's very hard to fight our fears but it's very easy and in this episode i want us to talk about the 10 ways to fight your fears and we will go to the first one which is um taking time out when you're when you're when you're having that fear and anxiety it is very hard for you to think clearly so basically um, you need some time to cool down yourself physically so that now you can be able to, to, to think about that fear and also to, to, to overcome it. And actually that time that you're taking out, it helps in, it's one way of helping it, uh, helping you to fight that fear. And, um, it is very easy. You can choose to take a walk. You can choose to maybe take a cup of coffee, you can choose to have a bath, you can choose to do some maybe sit-ups, uh, some stretches, or basically do what you love. See, when you engage your mind and your body with what you love, it helps you overcome, overcome so much, so much. So that is one, one, one step of um, overcoming or rather fighting fear. The other one is breathing through panic. We have all experienced maybe in our younger stages when you are you are anxious about something, you're always told to breathe in and then out. That breathing in uh, enables you to, to relax your mind, enables you to relax your body. And when you're in panic, it is very important to to be composed uh, so that you can be able to think clearly because again when you're not composed you may do very many weird things very many weird things and very many regrettable things so breathing through panic also helps you to to fight um, fears and yes you can try this and I know those who have tried to do the breathing breathe out exercise you know the relaxation that that exercise brings even if it's a one minute 
few seconds exercise it brings a lot of relaxation and if you do that when you're faced with fears you'll be able to relax your mind and you'll be able to even think clearly on how to to overcome that fear the other the other one is facing your fears so many people fear um, facing that which is maybe making them fear they fear waking up to the fact that i have this challenge and this challenge i am the only one who can maybe help it out even if i'm not the only one i am the i should be the initiator of of help if i need uh, maybe help from a friend i need to seek for that help because my friend will not know that i'm going through something until maybe i open up and uh, that is one way of facing your fears accept that you have a challenge accept that you have a fear and then once you accept that now seek help so um whatever your fear is if you face it it should start to 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 fade away so be confident enough be courageous enough to face that fear and eventually you will be able to overcome it it starts fading because what the what 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 fear doesn't like fear doesn't like you realizing that you have it so at the moment the moment that you start realizing that you have that fear and the moment that you accept that i have this fear and i need to fight it it starts fading away slowly by slowly and before you know it you will have overcome that fear um the other one the fourth one is imagining the worst so um when you're faced with fear try to imagine what is the worst that can happen if if i don't fight if i if i fight this fear what the what is the worst that can happen so for example if maybe 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 um maybe i'm not i'm fighting uh to overcome the fear of uh okay i'm i'm lacking the best example to give but basically what i mean is if you're able to 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 imagine the worst that can happen when you fight that fear you will be able to fight because you realize in fact there is nothing much and whatever will happen it is for your own benefit so um and on the flip side try 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 asking yourself what if i don't fight this fear and then I am um, I get maybe a heart attack and uh I just die. So how 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 have I helped myself? So such thoughts imagining the worst what what is the worst that can be caused by this fear that I'm having? And if you start imagining you 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 re, you imagine maybe I have a whole career ahead of me. I have a whole life ahead of me. I have a family uh that that are looking up on me what if i don't fight this fear and then the worst happens what will happen to that family what will happen to that career what will happen to that business that i'm having so those thoughts they will encourage you to start uh, your way to fighting that fear and at, at the end of the day you will find that you are getting an easy a very easy time fighting that fear the fifth one look at the at the, at the evidence at hand maybe sometimes we fear things that are that are maybe 99.9 impossible uh, or rather the possibility of that thing happening is um 0.001 and um we 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 get to fear it to a point that we we even fear ex um we even fear uh, like for example say for example a, a lift in a building maybe it's your first time maybe you've been there uh, long enough and then when you're in inside that lift you're just thinking about this lift how, how about what happens if it, it collapses so every time you're you're in that lift you're thinking negatively what if this lift collapses what if this lift breaks what if this lift stops working when we are still uh, inside so look for evidence um do you have a history of that lift not working do you have a history of that uh thing that you 
fearing that may happen? Do you have a history of it happening? And if you have a history, what happened when it happened? Maybe if, if it's a lift, for example, when it broke down, what happened? Did we get casualties? Did we get people who died? Did we get people who got serious uh, issues after the lift broke? Uh, is there help immediately? So when when you engage your mind in that conversation, you're able to 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 understand that some fears they are they are just mental. And if you change your thinking, if you change what you think about that, you basically um, live a life without fears or a life with uh, less fears. The sixth one: don't try to be perfect. So we have this problem as, as human beings that we always want to be perfect. Even having uh, walk to the fact that no one is perfect, you will, you will, you will find people wanting to be perfect, and that is actually what is killing most people because you want to be perfect in everything, forgetting that. Um, no one is perfect and no one will ever be perfect. So in your imperfections, yes, work on your imperfections, but stop stop uh, trying too much to be perfect. Because again, when you try too much and it frustrates you and it doesn't work in your favor, you will again get depressed, you will get stressed and you will wonder, do I really need to live this kind of life? Do I really need to continue living with this imperfection and with these negativities? So if we can only stop uh, trying too much to be perfect, I believe we can work on our imperfections and make out the best of us. Yes. So um, the, uh, the other one, uh, visualize a happy place. Think of something. Think of... Uh, place that you love be think of a place that you have always wanted to be think of a place that you've always wanted to go think of anything that will make your uh, mind happy and that way you'll be able to even uh, re-engage your mind on something else as opposed to to thinking or rather uh, working working uh, hard to try and maybe um, make that fear make that fear even worse so think of a good place think of a nice place that you can maybe even if it's it's, it's online try something positive so the other one talk about it there's nothing there's nothing wrong with discussing something with someone that you trust talk about your fears go to someone that you trust go to someone that you know that they will help you Talk about that fear that you're having, and at the end of the day, you will have, uh, you will, you will come out of that place with help. You may not get a hundred percent help, but even if it's one percent, it will help you in your journey towards overcoming your fears. So the the, the ninth one, go back to the basics. What brought this fear? What really brought this fear? Because when you when you go back to the basics, you're able to understand. Is this something that uh, am I am I worrying too much uh, out of something that is so little? Am I worrying too much? Yet I would have maybe done this and overcome this fear immediately. So when you go back to the basics, you're able to understand the 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 magnitude of this fear and maybe the possible is actually when you go back to the basics you're able to to get even solutions on how to overcome that fear and then lastly after you've done all those reward yourself after you've overcome after you've you've been able to do all that and you've overcome always reward yourself you are you you are you're the best to reward yourself it is only you who can reward yourself best so take time, take yourself out, go do even whatever you like. If you like doing uh, shoots, go do the shoots. If you like traveling, go travel. If you like road trips, go out do that road trip. If you like swimming, go out swim. At the end of the day, make sure you reward yourself after you have overcome 
that fear and that way even when the next time a fear uh, tries to occupy your mind you'll be able to fight it and you'll be able to come out um, victorious and at the end of the day you will smile and you will be happy that you're not living uh, a life of fear any longer you are living a life that is hopeful a life that is positive a life that is um, worth even emulating by others so uh, those are the 10 10 10 points 10 uh, ways to overcome your fear I hope maybe if not all a few will help you and idea, please share with uh, your friends let's preach positivity let's preach um, good vibes let's preach yeah, positivity in all ways and God will bless us all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for securing time to watch this video. My humble appeal to you, if you have not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so that we can be able to uh, continue bringing you amazing content and amazing uh, topics to help you and also to help people out there. God bless you so much. Bye-bye.